In this video, I will demonstrate how you can resolve the errors you might find in your toolpath. Click on any of the error icons, and in the parameters panel, you can read what issue has occurred. If we look at the size of this object and consider that the issue was related to the geometry, it is fair to assume that the entities of this object are too small for the cutouts to be detected in the toolpath. In this case, we will revisit the CAD window, select our entire object, and increase its size. Once you click the double arrows to update the toolpath in CAM, you will notice that these errors are resolved. However, if you come across these errors and you cannot increase the size of your geometry, you can also decrease the curve width of selected portions of your toolpath. You can either click and drag your mouse over the entities that have problems in your toolpath, or you can use control click to select multiple entities at a time. In the parameters panel, uncheck use default settings under overridden properties and decrease the curve width value. If the value you have inputted for the curve width is small enough, you will see that all of the errors have been resolved. If you find that neither of these methods resolve the errors in your toolpath, it might be because your drawing has bad geometry. If this is the case, return to the CAD window and look for any imperfections in your drawing. Here you can see that a line overextends out of the rectangle. You can manually fix this error by using the trim tool and cutting off the extra piece of the segment. However, if you have the pro version of the software, you can use the fixed drawing tool. By providing a join and overlap tolerance, this feature can identify and resolve all errors. Once you have fixed the bad geometry, either manually or with the fixed drawing tool, you can bring your drawing back to CAM.